How are you all doing? What are we getting up to in this video? I'm going to be turning this into this. Okay, so let's give it a quick look over to see what we've got to do to it. The neck looks pretty good. Uh, the machine heads, I don't know if you can tell, but they're pretty rusty. They all seem to be turning. This was in my brother's loft, so it's obviously pretty cold up there during the winter. Yes, this was donated to me by my brother, so I'll go on about that in a bit. I don't know if you could see the neck bolts. That one's alright, but all the other three are pretty uh, knackered. Got the uh, back plate missing. Let's look at the front. The deck is saying it's a Fender Stratocaster. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but all the lacquer like, sort of peeled off. The uh, frets look pretty good. You can see the burn there where the body sticks the cigarette into the uh, top string. I'm thinking that could be fake because when you come down here it looks like pretty worn and vintage and distressed but I'm thinking somebody's just sanded that down and made it look like that. Uh, the action on the strings on that one is sort of right down and these are higher up. Uh, another thing I noticed is why the why this has probably been taken off is because these two are nice and solid but that one has got no fixing to it and if we turn it over and look underneath you can see it should look like that but it's looking like that because it's totally broken so that's the uh, first repair we'll try to do uh, but before we start that, uh, I'd just like to say a big massive thank you to my brother if he's watching this video for giving me this guitar. He also gave me this guitar as well, which I'm going to try and uh, get back into service. Uh, he also gave me the two Spanish guitars, but, but uh, I'm not too worried about the two Spanish eyes gave me this case this all out of his loft what he was clearing out this he gave me this case with look at that this inside it's a owner but now I'm the owner lovely case as well. The guitar does sound pretty nice. Apart from the ones with the apart from the strings with the uh, plectrum in it. And he also gave me an electric guitar case but that's outside in the shed. And he also gave me this. Look at that. I don't know if that's a proper fender or a proper fender. But uh chuffed with it and he also gave me this which is my favorite guitar at the moment this is my first ever 24 fret guitar Uh, 
but I love it. This is probably uh, probably the best guitar I've got. So yes, an absolutely big massive thank you to my brother Robert. So anyway, let's get back to fixing this one. Okay then, so let's get this middle pickup out so we can have a closer look at it. Just uh, try and under this fixing bolt because as we know this one isn't uh, fixing to anything. So let's try and undo this one. Take it all the way out. And hopefully we should have that pickup out. spring there. Don't know where the other spring has gone. Now there's the other spring. These are actually magnets as well. Magnetized. Put that over there safe. As we can see all the fixing is just uh, broken away. But anyway let's try and uh, get a plan and uh, fix it. Okay so this is an old pickup surround, square pickup, or well, oblong pickup. Uh, this is one of the uh, pickups from this fender. Uh, the bolt, the screw actually screws into there nicely, making a thread. So what I'm thinking Cutting the, that piece out in an oblong shape and cutting that piece out in an oblong shape. And fixing, uh, well, just placing one on the top there and one on the bottom there. And uh, just sandwiching them between there and then putting it back into here. Like so, and hopefully it'll screw in there to be a permanent fix. So let's try that. Yes, yeah, so I've just got to cut those off there with these. Like so, so there's one. There is number two. Make that all a bit bigger. Hopefully this little tool is a bit bigger to make this all bigger so the uh, pickup screw can uh, float about inside it. So there we are, that one screws into the plastic that can go at the bottom. And that one Just float through the hole so that one can go at the top and make a sandwich. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so the screw's got to come through there like so. Put the spring on there. This floating bit of plastic onto there. And then hopefully we can on the end of the screw, push that plastic bit back, and hopefully we can sandwich this into there where it should go, like so. Now screw up and hopefully we can get this back down to about that height. Uh, that's about as low as we can go I think. Go 
in now. Cure all the uh, wires are out the way. There we go. I think that should do that. Just hold that into place for the moment. and get some strings on it. Okay, I usually start with the third string, the G string. <laughs> no pun intended. Now on these you have to uh, push the string in through the back there. So I want the uh, third one up. One, two, three. That should be the G string. Push that through. Grab it at the other side. So we could take it into number three machine head. Push it through the hole. There we go. And we can get our little whistle. So we could go to one, two, three, the G string and blow it. Then we want to get that to. Oh, that wasn't bad, was it? There we go. Then we can bend it to stretch it in. Catch it. Catch in that. So it's catching a bit round there, as you can tell by the uh, dual string sound. look down the neck to see if it's bent which I haven't done yet yeah that's not too bad that's pretty good actually so I think what I'm going to have to do is unscrew the neck because these are all almost at the maximum as it is and it's still catching on the frets Let's second, let's slacken the string back off. And see if we can't get these screws undone. That one's going. That one's going. these bolts out. Okay so I've had a think about it. I'm going to put some packing in. I'm going to use a piece of cord and uh, if I pack it underneath if I can get that back in there. That's in there. So the uh, strings are actually catching on these frets. So if it's if the neck is sort of, this is going to be exaggerated, bent up like that, it's not going to catch on the neck. It's not going to catch on the fret so much, is it? So what I'm thinking of doing is, just put in a strip of packing at the top there. So the neck does that. So let's try that. Just use one to start with because it has got glue on it as well to give it extra thickness. So if we put that there, shook the neck back in. Turn. 
turn it over. Put the screws back in. Like so. Okay, then we could tighten the string back up. Somewhere around there, where's the juke? As you can probably see, the action is a lot higher. So hopefully, we can adjust these adjusters down and get the action a lot lower. So that's that in tune, so now I've got to get a little allen key and knock this down lower. Here we go, that's the right key. So we just uh, we screw that out. <laughs> these are look like they're at the maximum. We want to get them down as low as possible without the string catching on the fret. Get it in tune, but it's catching a bit. So that's that one. Let me get the rest on and I'll be back to you. Okay then, so that's all the strings on. The action is a bit high, but, uh, but I can't complain to say I've got the guitar off and nothing. Uh, I think I've tuned it up, stretched all the strings in. Right then, let's plug it in, see if it works. See you on the next one.